Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Vogue. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 4.4 SD V8 autobiography. Four wheel drive, 2014 on a 14 plate. Has done 106,758 miles. Fuel economy, uh, pretty good for a 4.4 litre engine, I have to say. Urban, 24.6 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 37.2 miles per gallon. And combined is 32.5 miles per gallon. Has a 0 to 60 time of 6.5 seconds, a top speed of 135 miles per hour out of a 334 brake horsepower, eight cylinder, 32 valve engine. Get out of the car, touch the door handle, mirrors fold in, doors lock, come back to the car as long as you've got the keys on you, behind there, and that's it, open. Side steps, the black blades, sat on 22 inch um, diamond cut and dark silver alloys, continental cross contact tyres all round, high pressure headlamp wash, the black Range Rover grille and badges, it's also got 360 uh, all round cameras, you can see when you're coming out of a junction and so on, that's, uh, that's fairly handy. Um, again the silver accents on, on the front end, rear privacy glass, tilt and slide glass panoramic roof, integrated rear tailgate spoiler, here we go. Now, strong enough to sit on. I'm, I'm sure this guy who's cutting the grass isn't doing it on purpose, but it just feels like it. He, he, while I was parked here photographing and videoing before, he came and cut this bit, and, and now I'm filming that way. He's gone over there. Anyway, there you go. So, you sit here, this protects you. You've got a couple of little lights there, it's illuminated. You can fold these up separately. Uh, if you're just putting your shopping in, just flip the tailgate up and chuck your shopping in, shut that, shut the tailgate. Or if you're loading something heavier, uh, then uh, put this, the bottom part of the tailgate down. Um, rear or heavy duty, rubber mats in. This is the hard rear load cover too. Uh, as I say, it's, it's, it's a lovely car. If you've got an Audi Q7 or a, or a Touareg or, I don't know, something else, a, a, a Porsche KN, you probably think your, your four-wheel drive is, is good, but it ain't as good as one of these, I'll tell you. They're the best car on the road. They really are. Um, and the, the funny thing is, they seem the best car on the road by, by miles. Uh, you get in this, and it's quite an old one, it's 106,000 miles. Drives like brand new. Looks fantastic. Got such a presence on the road. Great style. Second to none. Brilliant cars. Anyway. Also, here we go. If you click that. Front and rear parking sensors as well. Reversing camera there. Your rear wiper is sheltered under there from all the, the grime. Now we get onto the special bit with this car. So here we go. You've got side steps, of course, which help you get in better, but I, I chose to do it the hard way. Um, let me turn that down. Turn the aircon down so you can hear what I'm saying. It's a four-seater. That headrest, honestly, it's, it's better than the pillow on my bed. <laughs> Even better, it's got rear massage seats. So, well, you've got massage seats, you've got the, you've got the pan roof over here, so if I want to, I can shut the blind there. Also, that the, the passenger there, if you're gonna be a passenger and you, you're the important one, that's where you sit. You've got a button here, you can move that seat forward. If you don't want to be bothered leaning forward to touch that, you can just do that. So you can put the seat forward and backwards with these buttons here. I'll switch on the massage seat. And just switch mine on as well. 
Oh. And if you if you want a massage seat that's that's not just in your Range Rover, I'll I'll try and remember to click a link to uh, one one of the people that sponsored my channel and sent me a massage chair. Just the best thing in the world. But this is fantastic. It's got uh, the Meridian sound system, Meridian speakers. There's TV in the front. But honestly. I could just fall, fall asleep here. Well, I could fall asleep anywhere, but I could I could fall asleep here more. Also, electric seats. So the rear seats are electronically controlled. If you see that, there you go. So I've reclined my seat. I've got my massage seats on. I've got my headrest, which is like a, a pillow. And... Uh, that's lumbar support as well it's got in the back so I'm moving that forward but hopefully you'll be able to see this I don't know if you can see that just coming out just let's just see massage seats in the front as well what a car I mean, I dread to think how much this car costs now, but uh, what great value it is now. And when you when you drive it, the noise it makes and the way it feels on the road, um, it's just awesome. Well, I, I suppose I better take you for a ride than I'm there. <laughs> right. Let's go for a ride. Okay, keys on you. That's also, there's a Wabasto heater underneath the bonnet and you can switch a heater on. Should have done that before and taken a photograph. Uh, turn that down. Let's see. Extra features. Oops, audio device connected, let's go back. Climate. So that's the climate, rear climate, remote seats, settings, oh, and remote seats. Select a seat and then use the driver's seat controls to adjust. God, that's that's flipping marvellous. Um, rear easy entry, reset rear seats, rear left. So let's just see. Yeah, wow, that, that's amazing. Right, so, <laughs> when you're the driver, you can mess about with anybody's seats. That's, that's absolutely cosmic. I didn't, uh, I didn't know it had got that, so let's just go back. I'm a bit like Cameron, Stealth, Climate. Remote rear climate front seats. Climate settings, auto power, medium high, auto heated screens. So, right, I'm going to turn that down, just get it cool enough so my cameras won't overheat. And then, first job, massage seats. So you press the seat button there, you've got massage and on off there. So I massage, program, change the program. There you go, that's the full one, that's the intensity. You can turn it down like so, but, or you can have it on automatic, but to the max that's it so if I click like so it changes direction there it's bottom top and then that's uh, hang on let's just do that that's all of it that's that's what I want but you can also do the rear seats as well so you can switch the rear seats on I don't know if you'll be able to see I'm going to switch them both on I don't know if you'll be able to see from the camera I've, I've set up hopefully you'll be able to see it but I'm, I, as I say I'm not sure so Put on the brake, into drive. You've got three position memory seats in the front. We'll just do the old memory seat roulette. So, second position. I know the lady who drives this car is quite uh, diminutive. So that's where she would normally drive. It's a big car. 
Sean and Little always has Range Rovers. So, as I say, that tells you something about it. That's the next position, so that would be there. Now, I may have changed the first position. I can't remember whether I've done it or not. No, I haven't. I've definitely, I've definitely not done that. Right, so those are, those are the positions. So, on the side here, first of all, we'll, we'll get it down because I bashed my head there. So we'll go all the way down, back, down at the front. We've also got... Lumber support closing the seats in. Yeah, that's back resting. We can put the headrest up and down there too. That's backwards and forwards. Then you've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel. So we'll get that out there like so. Your door mirrors. In your door mirrors, you'll see the orange light in that one. In your door mirrors, you've got blind spot warning indicator which is a brilliant system. Um, Meridian speakers, let's just, I'm not sure what's playing at the moment. I'll, I'll knock that off. We've also got TV and it's dual screen TV, which means the passenger can watch the TV. As soon as I set off going, um, the, the TV will, will go off on my side. I can, I can have the sat nav on on this side, and the passenger can watch the TV, but I can't see it. And, uh, so I'm not tempted to watch the TV when I should be watching the road. You know, you, you wonder what they'll think of next, won't you? And next thing they'll be coming up with cars that drive themselves. That would be a stupid idea. I just, this, <laughs> honestly, you, you got, has it got heated and cooled seats? Let's just see. So onto there again. We will, ah, there we go. So we've got heated and cooled seats as well. I can warm that up like so, or the air conditioning comes through the perforations, keeps you cool in, in winter, in summer rather. So that's tilt and slide sunroof as well absolutely brilliant you've got access height you've got the side steps that's that's just catching on the cameras so i'm just going to put that down there it's not where i would normally drive with it but i'm sorry not my cameras my microphones if i don't move it it'll be going as we're driving Although not so much in this because the Range Rover is brilliant and the suspension is brilliant. You think he's going fast enough? It's good to see them not on the phone though. Now this 4.4 luxury. They're not too much worse on fuel than a three litre and, and to be honest in some conditions I find them actually better on fuel than the three litre. It's just doing nothing. It's just V8 power. The back seat, you know the the four seat configuration. Um So if you want if you wanted something to be chauffeured in, then this would be the vehicle. It's just just brilliant. It really is. We've got looks like Distronic cruise control as well. So typical Range Rover. Make the best car in the world, and uh, make sure idiots can operate it. So the sat nav's dead, dead easy to work. Everything's dead easy to work. Cruise control. That's it. <laughs> One touch on. No, no. Pressing the button to switch it on, then pressing minus to set it, and then, then plus to get you up to speed. Just one switch on. Here on the side there, you've got two arrows close together, and then two arrows further apart. 
So we'll just set the cruise again, like so. And then if I click that, I can't actually see it because I've got a camera mounted there today, but that's controlling the gap from between me and the car in front. That makes it bigger, that makes it smaller. So Distronic or Adaptive Cruise Control, which is very good. So it'll, the car in front slows you down, your car will slow down and, it, and it, it'll come to a stop if the car in front comes to a stop. You sat nav, like so. But what I can do, so I'll just check. Yeah, the passengers can see the TV there. I can't from here, all I can see is there. But what I can do, I can have my nav on like that. Passenger can't see my nav, can't see where he's going, but he's watching the TV, so he's quite happy. Nice big front centre armrest. Just power folding door mirrors. I mentioned we've got the side steps, we've got the 360 cameras as well. So if we go to home, extra features, and then we've got climate eco and cameras, onto cameras. I've got this on TV so I can't I can't see it because I've got it on TV. Another another great demonstration there, Baz. We can show us more. There you go. How about that? So that's the cameras. You see there the fronts, the rears, side well, sorry, mirrors that is. And uh, then the reversing camera as well. So when you're coming into or you're coming out of a an entrance, if you're unlucky enough to have another Range Rover parked either side that you can't see over the top of, which you would normally be able to in a Range Rover, you can just poke the front out and make sure nothing's coming. Um, I mean, even, I suppose, pedestrians or cyclists these days. When I, was, when I was testing one of these years ago and I was backing out of a spot, there's a cyclist coming up the pavement about, well, he wasn't doing 50 miles an hour, that, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but he was going fast enough to startle you or to run into the back of you if you'd have pulled out completely. Get your terrain response here. You can control your suspension, put it up or down. And if you press this button here, that's your access height. So it will go down automatically. But perhaps if you leave the car ticking over or something, you can still, or you pull up to let your passenger out, of course. Yeah, I forgot it's a, a limo, really. And uh, you just put the car down for them to get out. Now listen to this. What can I say? <laughs> little little things make me happy <laughs> and big Range Rovers do. You've got paddle shift here, your telephone controls volume controls, track controls, so you can change track, heated steering wheel, best invention ever, that was a numbskull roundabout there, which we just don't want to go there. <laughs> When I say we, I mean me. It's just an awful roundabout. So what we're we doing? We're doing 50 at the moment. Traffic's terrible here. But. I've got cool air coming through the perforations in the seat. I've got the aircon on. Oh, another thing. In the rear, it's got its own aircon controls, but you've also got vents in the roof. So you're not just getting air from here. 
it's up at the top there as well. I, I must remember to take a photograph. So I had it on before, killing the cameras and, and killing it inside, down inside. And it, it sat there and it's just blown, you know, like a plane. You get in a plane and you turn those things and it's blown right in your head. It's like that, so it's a, a land jet. <laughs> just, you know, I mean, if you're in a smaller car, I don't like the motorways being like so. You know, the, there's too many idiots around you. And the, the, the more drivers you have around you, the more chance you've got of one of them being a complete idiot and doing something stupid. And then next minute, everybody slamming on, like, you know, like that guy, rather than just coming in at the back there. No, he had to slot in between somebody else and they put the brakes on it. And it comes all the way down like dominoes. So you're in this, if I was in a smaller car, I'd, I'd be certainly paying more attention uh, to what's happening up there. There we go. That's your blind spot warning indicator there, flashing away, there, there it goes again. That's worth its weight in gold. In fact, uh, they should, when you buy a motorbike, they should charge you for a blind spot indicator warning lamp and then pay for it on a car. Car's just fabulous. Looks a million dollars from the outside. Very, very clean car. Belongs to one of our customers who we always sell his old cars and they're always mint. He never buys new ones because he's not stupid. He just buys a proper good, well-specced, well-serviced car. And I forgot to put the service history in, and the service history is tremendous as well. I will cut that in later. Oh, God, what? And Tesla, they leave me cold. They really do. They just look horrible. They drive okay, I've got to say. If you like gadgets and whoopee cushions and a car that has a screen that looks like a blazing fire, that's the car for you. If you want a car that will just get you anywhere in comfort, then there's nothing comes close to these. Listen, uh, there we go, we're just speeding up and closing in, just uh, override it, whoa, Fantastic. Put it to 70, so that's 70. And then we'll gap, so that's decreased. We could close it on him. It's just slowing the vehicle down, make the gap bigger and it's dropping us back. And when he goes, when he carries on, I'm going left here, so it should allow me to accelerate, or it should accelerate, because it's on cruise, there you go, and away we go. It's just accelerating now. I'm not touching the accelerator there. It's just doing it on its own. But I better slow down now, because I don't want to go straight through the roundabout.
right, I'm just going to pull up here. Service history. Before all my cameras go off. So here we go, service history. That's a PDI, so we won't bother with that. Knock the indicators off. 27th of 10th, 2014 at 14,343 miles. Guy Salmon Land Rover, 17th of 7th, 2015 at 30,427 miles. Guy Salmon Land Rover, 21st of 4th, 2016 at 43,705 miles. Guy Salmon Land Rover, 17th of 1st, 2018 at 61,694 miles. Thurcroft Auto Centre, 15th of 2nd, 2019, 70,975 miles. Inch Cape Land Rover, 13th of 7th, 2020, at 83,448 miles. Inch Cape Land Rover, 21st of 6th, 2022, to 101,434 miles. K Motors, what have we done here? <coughs> 106,771 miles. Um, hopefully, no, better not to. I was going to take a photograph, and but then I, I'll have all the, all the people that don't like me because I don't like EVs and the and the cyclists phoning the police on me again. He touched his phone. <laughs> Is it? Fabulous car. Oh, the massage seats have gone off. They are they are timed, and you, you're not supposed to. Uh, okay. You're not supposed to do too much massage on. Get them massage seats on. Let's see if you can see that. I'll switch that one on. Let's see if you can see it going in and out. Yeah, both on. I've got, a, I've got a really bad bag, and as I say, the Fuji Uriyoki sent me a seat, and, or Medica Relax from London sent me a, a massage chair to test and make videos of, and uh, it's fantastic. I use it every single day. However, when I was going on holiday, my suitcase weighed 25 kilograms, and my rucksack 10 kilograms. And you know, when you get to baggage, you know, baggage collection, and there's a yellow line around the conveyor belt and it says, stay behind the yellow line, and you stay behind the yellow line, or you should do if you're like not a nuisance, stay behind the yellow line and everybody else stays forward. I had my rucksack just over one shoulder. I saw my case coming around. It, what, the handle wasn't easily uh, reachable so I had to spin it round on the conveyor belt so spin it round and turn it so I could get hold of the handle picked it up by the handle just going to move off and there's a guy here so I kind of stopped and as I stopped my rucksack fell off twisted me <laughs> the suitcase went down twisted me back rucksack fell off just to give it that extra little tweak long story short fortunately there's a spa at a hotel and uh, it cost me 700, 700 euros in two weeks for, for, to have my back done. But having said that, looking back on it, it was absolutely fantastic. And it, it was the best 700 euros I've ever spent. But uh, oh, if I'd have had this Land Rover there, I could have just driven around with a bit of the air conditioning on and massage seats. <clears throat> That's just in the small of my back now. Just nice. Everything perfect. If you if your elbows won't reach this 
big front centre armrest here. See, now he needed those front cameras, didn't he? He, he could have he could have just popped them out like like that. And uh, if you just want to, there you go. You can click that and enlarge it so that you see where it's going. Ah oh dear, there's also a front collision alert, get too close to the car in front it beeps and there's a big red triangle comes on. I think if it's actually somebody pulls out, not if they're already there. Gosh, it's lovely, this car. Yeah, I had, I had, I had somebody come in and he, oh, he says uh, X5's better. It's not. Yeah, yeah, it's better. No, it's not. Even Andrew Neil. He said they were the best car in the world the other day. And I dare say with his money, he's, uh, he's got to drive in a few better cars than I have. Yeah, well, that's... Uh, you know... Uh, you know in your, on your driving test when they tell you mirror signal manoeuvre, the idea is that you look in your mirror, then you signal what you're going to do, and then you, you manoeuvre. So we got there, slams a the foot on the brake, starts turning, then indicates. And the last possible second, fortunately massive, big discs, big wheels, lots of rubber area on the tarmac and you, you can just stop on a sixpence it just it just ripped the tarmac up Whoa, oh here we go that's andy ball coming again i i always see him whenever whenever i'm on a test drive Plumber extraordinaire. <laughs> we had a burst pipe in the showroom years ago, in the showroom in the workshop years ago, and it was it was free, absolutely freezing. Nobody'd go near it, and uh, we wondered how he was going to fix it. <laughs> he just he just walked up to it and put a pipe on. Anyway. <laughs> I'd have, I'd have, I'd have got flipping frostbite if I'd have done that. <laughs> so that's it. The car is beautiful. You won't find another one like it, so don't be ringing up saying it's a bit dear. <laughs> or or uh, can you knock a bit off? We, we're doing it as cheap as we possibly can. And, it, and it's just worth every penny. It's worth every penny. Can you see the massage seats there? That's just... So here we go, let's just see there. So we've got that as well, but that's... So that's... Oh, hang on. All ah, right, so the seat bottom comes out as well. So you can extend the seat bottom from the... Well, let's, let's just see them. Well, We'll go on to seats. We'll go on to seats, so we'll click on seats. Let's see. We'll go back from there. Back from there. Back again. Um, home menu. Extra features. Climate. 
was climbing in there. Front seats, remote seats. So remote seat there, front left, front left. So if you just watch that, if I do, where's it gone? That one. There you go. You'll see the front seat extending out. So that's making the seat squab longer. Or you can put the seat backwards and forwards from there. And then up and down. That, that would work the headrest normally. Fantastic car. Absolutely love it. I'll just check. Is there anything else I've missed off here? Anything else? Oh, blimey, loads of things. So I said about Meridian speakers, yeah, 22s, split-spoke alloys, privacy glass, heated steering wheel, soft-closed doors. You pull the doors to, like that. Pulls it to, so you don't slam your doors at night if you've got neighbours, but I dare say if you've got this, the nearest neighbour will be about a mile away. Fixed side steps, 18-way drivers and passenger seats. Acoustic laminated windscreen, um, adaptive xenon headlights, turn corners with you. Atlas side vent graphic, those will be the blades. Rear executive seating, grand black lacquer veneer, detachable tow bar, full size spare wheel, 19 speakers, adaptive cruise control. That's it. What a fantastic car. It's just beautiful. Um, <laughs> I, I, let, no, let me just say, let, I'll tell you what, let's, we'll, we'll put, <coughs> which do you prefer? We'll put cameras on. Let's see, home menu. Extra features. Cameras. Switch on. Camera home page. Here we go. Let's just go up here. Enlarge. There you go. Which would you rather have? That or this? Oh, I must take a photo. Right. Let's just get that photo. So photo there and also put that in like that and get out here we go video take video so there we go that's turn the fan on and then here we go Here. That's down, up, and both of them all the way. That's for your blinds, and that you can move the chair forward. Heated and cool seats in the back here as well and then you've got your vents here and you've got all this uh, cup holders there just <laughs> just a fabulous car leather headlining as well there you go that's the we'll just click that uh, You see, there you go, Amy. Get the 
camera for the driver, TV for the passenger. I think I'll just sit here now. Ah, bliss. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da.